Hey, what's going on? How we doing? Little Dap. It's Jared Vaughn's former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Today we're learning how to pass a soccer ball with the inside of your foot. This OSA training video is geared for players ages 5 to 8 and their coaches and parents. It, of course, can be applied to all ages. This is what it looks like. Key point number one. You want your passing foot ankle locked, nice and tight. Imagine hitting a baseball with a loose bat. That bat is nice and tight. Your ankle needs to be nice and tight. Key point number two. You want your kicking foot toe pointed up, not down. By having it up like this, it creates more surface area on the ball. Key point number three. Your plant foot, the non-passing foot, is facing your target. These are some of the basic key points. After the first exercise, we'll go over the advanced key points. An exercise you can do. You need a partner and a ball. If you don't have a partner, use the fence. With your partner, pass for one to two minutes, focusing on technique. Coaches, look for technique adjustments. number one shoulders need to face the target so lots of times when players step to the ball they turn their body now their shoulders are facing away from their target and their plant foot is pointed away from their target what you can do to practice this is kind of hold their shoulders when they take their step key point number two power comes from bringing the leg back so players tend to push the ball forward and that's wrong Think of a golfer. Do they take their club and swing like that? No, they come back and forward. Same with soccer. We need that player's leg to come back, generating power on the leg swing. Key point number three, the power is in the thigh, not the calf. Lots of players tend to only pass with their knee down. This is incorrect. We need their thigh to come back, keeping the knee down the same, so they can drive through with power in the thigh. An exercise you can do, have the player stand one step behind the ball, then they step to the ball, pause, showing their thigh back, knee down's the same, ankle lock, toe up, then swing through and hit it, pause, showing ankle lock, toe up, then repeat. Once the player gets more comfortable, remove the pausing and go back to normal passing. Now let's talk about what could be going wrong. If the passes are going all over the place, that typically means their shoulders are not facing the target. So if you actually pause a player after they make a bad pass, you'll see that their shoulders are facing in the exact direction that their bad pass went. If the player isn't generating enough power, this usually means they're using their calf, not their thigh, to generate the power. So what you want to look for if their non-kicking leg is in line with their kicking leg, like so, that's not good. You want them to stand behind the ball, take that step, thigh back, so they can come through and generate more power. There are multiple techniques to pass the ball. Inside of the foot passing is just one of them. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy training video. Like, rate, and share this video if you did. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube or become a member and create your profile for free at OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Players all over the world use it. Post a comment, let me know what you think. My name is Jared Muntz, and remember, until next time, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!